In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best duck hunting shotguns that money can buy. Maybe you are new to the whole waterfowl hunting game, or you are a returning veteran looking for a decent shotgun. Then you have come to the right place. I have here a list of 10 hunting shotguns that I think are worth every penny. The selection is determined not only by reliability and value, but also versatility, aesthetics, handling, and ergonomics, all of which should be important considering when you purchase any firearm. As always, the links to these bad boys are in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Winchester Super X4 The Super X4 had to claw its way through a plethora of semi-autos in the market, but it came out on top as the best-performing 12-gauge shotgun at its price point. If you are going on a waterfowl shooting trip, you have to have this one. What about ducks? Well, you can cheap out and get a cheaper gun, but I strongly recommend that you stretch your budget a bit to accommodate this purchase. What makes the Super X4 so good? For one, it is gas operated, so the felt recoil is relatively light. It also comes with the Inflex recoil pad, which reduces the recoil even more. You never really appreciate how big a difference a little recoil makes until you try everything. Moreover, the stock has spacers, so you can adjust the fit. The X4 comes from a long history of proven gun designs, improved and polished meaning that every single design choice is based on experience from guns such as the Super X2 and Super X3. The X4 utilizes a gas system that works. It is reliable and easy to maintain, not to mention that it comes with an enlarged bolt handle and bolt release button. Browning BPS The Browning BPS was a stunning success since its launch in 1977. It is a really well-made pump action that can be had in every gauge imaginable. Left-handed shooters also adore the BPS because it has a top safety and bottom ejection port, which means it's ambidextrous. The only downside I can think of is that you definitely need long arms to pump, and so cycling rounds might not be a comfortable experience. Also, since the ejection port is at the bottom, loading this gun for targets can be quite tedious as well. Other than that, the gun is very solid and fun to shoot. Browning Auto 5 The Browning Auto 5 is a light 12-gauge shotgun that comes in 3 and 3.5 inch models. A light gun like this requires something to help absorb the recoil, and this one comes with a recoil pad. However, keep in mind that it does not make shooting bigger shells that comfortable. Light inertia gun will have a strong kick if you load 3.5 inch shells, but the Auto 5 managed to keep the recoil somewhat manageable. Also, similar to other inertia guns, the Auto 5 can be bumped out of battery. Other than that, the gun is quite reliable and shoots well. Remington 870 Express Pump action shotguns are made to withstand rough conditions and handling. It is fine being tossed and banged around, and it'll shoot fine in shade and shine. Other than the unparalleled reliability, the 87 Express is mass-produced. That means it's also highly affordable. It boomed in popularity soon after its debut. It's well-built with a solid steel receiver and not as many plastic parts compared to other pump actions. It works perfectly right out of the box. It can cycle shells without a bobble. Looking down the barrel, you can see some tooling rings, but the gun prints out respectable shot groupings. The gun did take a nosedive in quality until rem arms took up production. They still have a long way to go in terms of build quality, but do not let that discourage you from getting the 870 Express. It will be a reliable companion when you are out shooting dove, pheasant, waterfowl, and more. Beretta 8300 Ultima The A300 Outlander is known as one of the best semi-autos in its price point. The Ultima is similar to the Outlander, except it comes with features to accommodate waterfowl hunters. It comes in both 12 and 20 gauge. Their kickoff recoil reducer helps to reduce the recoil, although some users said that it does the opposite. Luckily, you can remove it if it does not work for you. Other than that, the gun has many great points. Its performance is similar to the iconic Beretta 391, except the Ultima has a new receiver and larger controls. Benelli M2 Performance Shop The M2 Performance Shop is a lightweight 20-gauge semi-auto that is tricked out as it gets. You have the stock M2 semi-auto with custom chokes, a larger bolt release and handle, and even a lovely paracord sling. It's very reliable as long as you do not knock the bolt out of battery. You would think that a light gun like this would have more felt recoil, but it is compensated by the Comfort Tech recoil reduction system. Not to mention, it patterns well. Benelli Ethos Cordoba BST. The Cordoba is designed for both competitive, shooting, and duck hunting. It's coated with Benelli surface treatment. This means it is rust proof and scratch resistant. This 12 gauge shotgun comes with a 30 inch barrel but only weighs around 7 pounds. The stock comes from Comfort Tech, which translates into reduced felt recoil. It's a fun gun to shoot, and it shoots very well. Beretta A400 Extreme Plus The A400 is a 12-gauge gas-operated semi-auto shotgun from Beretta, a well-known company that needs no introduction. All of their firearms are high-quality and are worth every penny. 
The A400 is exceptional in the field compared to its peers. It has less felt recoil thanks to its gas operation. Not to mention the brand new kickoff mega recoil reducer built into the shotgun. It weighs around 8 pounds, which also helps reduce recoil as well. It looks just as good as it shoots. That can reliably shoot and cycle loads ranging from a featherweight 7-8 ounce up to 3.5 inch magnums. That means you can use this shotgun to hunt anything. You can tap turkey, geese, doves, and clay targets. At a glance, you can immediately tell that the A400 is just absolutely gorgeous. Some people might not like the weight and the bulk of the hand-filled forend since you really have to try hard to grip the forend too tightly and over-control the gun. Special considerations have been made for waterfowl hunters, and I'm sure you'll appreciate the larger bolt handle and release button. On top of this, the magazine cap comes off with a half of a turn after you depress it, similar to childproof lock you find on medicine caps, and it's highly visibility green on the inside. Again, it's a really helpful feature in case you drop the cap in the marsh. Benelli Super Black Eagle 3. This is the third iteration of the famous Super Black Eagle. What changed? The gun is lighter and trimmer with every iteration. This time it comes in 3 inch, 12, and 20 gauge. Although it can be had with the original 3.5 inch, 12 gauge, it's easy to shoot well with the Super Black Eagle 3. Although it is an inertia gun and light one at that, the Comfort Tech recoil reduction system helps a lot in absorbing some of that recoil. The controls are also easy to use, and the easy lock bolt prevents the out of battery misfire. Benelli Nova. The 12 gauge Nova was introduced about two decades ago, but it still looks like a one of a kind gun. The styling is futuristic thanks to the one piece reinforced polymer receiver in stock. The material is surprisingly durable. It is probably one of the best pump actions you can get on the market thanks to the slick rotary action. Of course, it might not look like the best looking gun in the market, but it will serve you well if you can get past the heavy trigger pull and a little safety button in the front of the trigger guard. And there you have it, folks. These are my top 10 picks for duck hunting shotguns. Granted, you do not have to agree with everything I said. This is just my opinion. After all, at the end of the day, the gun that you are most comfortable shooting will be the best gun for you. Take my opinions with a grain of salt, but I hope that this at least gives you a starting point to help you find that ideal gun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, consider clicking on that bell icon so that you don't miss out when a new episode comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.